So it is day four of my daughter um, being on clozapine. And um, you might be able to hear music in the background. My husband is watching the wall with my two other daughters. <laughs> so sorry about that, but um, she was with her grandma again today, a lot of the day. When she came back home, um, she was in a really good mood. So that's been good. No hallucinations today. So that's good as well. We're going to have her blood drawn tomorrow for the first time. Um, they have to start her out on a really small amount of the drug because it can cause um, a drop in her white blood cells. So for the first little while, while she's getting up to her therapeutic level, um, we have to have her blood drawn every week to check on that. Um, we, um, we live in Oregon, Welch's, Oregon, and it's, we live in a rainforest, so there's rain pretty much throughout the year, and it can get kind of depressing, and, um, my husband is bipolar, and I have depression, um, so, and we have some few other problems going on as well. So, um, things can get a little depressing around here at times, but, um, you know, Mara, my daughter with schizophrenia is really trying her best. Um, she's very cooperative and we are having a really hard time remembering to make sure she takes her drugs, her morning pills and her evening pills. Uh, we got out of the habit because she was in the hospital for two weeks. So now it's like, oh, did she, did she take them? And last night we had forgotten to give them to her. So we had to wake her up to give them to her. But, um, but she's cooperative. She doesn't want to have to go back in the hospital and, um, she knows that there aren't very many more drugs for her to try. So, um, I guess that's about it. And I'll let you know how she does in the future. Okay. Bye.